Good morning. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Keep you up to date of every other video that we upload. Today, I don't know if you can remember a few videos back uh, when I was explaining about the Range Rover, had been in for its control technique. It failed on excessive play in the ball joints. Now on the Range Rover, you've got two ball joints. You've got the ball joint, which is connected to the lower arm. <coughs> and then you have the ball joint that goes in. So the, that's the lower control arm at the front. And then you've got this ball joint, which bolts up into the, the hub assembly and the track control arm comes up to that. In this video, we're changing the lower arm. This end bolts onto the chassis or the frame. This end bolts up to a suspension, goes onto the hub assembly. This little piece here is where your height sensor bolts into. Got to be very careful taking off the height sensor because that sometimes seizes up. But uh, we're going to get changed, go over to the car and uh, go and fit this little item here. Right, so we're out here in dirty clothes. First job I'm going to do, I've got the suspension set to normal ride height. I'm just going to measure from the centre of the wheel to the wheel arch. This will become apparent later on. So, centre of the wheel. To the edge of the wheel arch. It's about 48 millimetres. No. 480 millimetres I can't tell you what that is in inches because this is a metric tape measure sorry about that all you Americans but 480 millimetres I'll put a little conversion on the bottom when I do the video so next we're going to jack it up get the wheel off and see what we can find inside right so we've got it jacked up safety first always use axle stands jack stands I've got a two and a half ton trolley jack and I've got two three ton axle stands. They're a bit overkill because you're not holding the whole weight of the vehicle up but they're plenty strong enough and we don't want the thing falling down on us. So I've done that uh, and now I'll just show you what else I've done. If you can see down in there, I've wire brushed off the threads and give it a good old squirt with WD-40. This piece here is the height sensor, and this is the bit that's gonna shear off if anything. So I've given that a good soaking of WD-40, and we're just gonna let it sit and let that penetrate the threads. So you see, I've got a nine mil socket on the back, and that's a 10 mil nut apparently on this side. And it's a bit corroded up, so I've just gotta try and get the uh, socket to fit on it. And that looks like it might come undone nicely for us. So that's the height sensor disconnected, which has come off quite nicely. So I've taken that nut off. Um, I can just about get the air gun on the other side, so I'm gonna just see if I can whistle that bolt out. <laughs> Bit of a tug and that should come all the way out. Focus. That's the bolt out, that's the main one. We'll give that a bit of a clean up before that goes back in and uh, probably put some copper grease on it. But that just leaves one nut on the ball joint end, which we're gonna attempt now. Out of all the bolts, this bottom ball joint is the one that's probably gonna give you the most trouble. 
you can only get a spanner on it so i've done the old double the spanners up technique and i've managed to get it undone now there's two ways we can uh, split well three ways you can hit this part with a hammer and it might just pop out you can use a ball joint separator which goes in there you hit that and it splits it or you can get a proper puller I'm going to go for the hitting method first and then we'll see how that goes right that's not working so we're going to stick this in and give that a whack There we go. Pull that out. One lower arm with a knackered ball joint. Here's the new lower arm new nut for there but we're going to use the old bolt for that end I've cleaned it up with a wire brush I'm going to put some copper grease on it alright so I'm going to offer the lower arm up into place line it up with the bolt hole and get the bolt in all the way through and that's perfect what I'll do is I'll just put the nut on it so that the bolt can't fall back out it won't fall out but the nut's there right next job get the ball joint in all right so I'm just gonna bring the lower arm up to the ball joint where the goes in just wiggle it about a little bit And there we go and get the new nut on there and what we're going to try and do is hopefully the thread doesn't turn inside the hub otherwise we'll have to try a different method on that yeah, as luck would have it it's a different size nut ah, there we go it's a different size it was 21 the original this one's a 22 and we're hoping that it's going to tighten up nicely and hopefully the ball joint won't spin inside there so far so good keep fingers crossed Now there is a torque setting for this ball joint which is 60 newton meters. There's no way I can get a socket in there put the torque wrench on it. So I'm just going to put the spanner on that way up. I'm going to put another spanner on the end of it. A little bit of a naughty trick. And we're going to do it up FT. which is flipping tight or you know I'll leave that up to your imagination what you think it might be
right click. Now, that's a torque wrench for you. So now, I'm going to put the old height sensor back on. Just goes in the hole like that. That's a little 10 mil nut on the back. The torque setting for the height sensor is eight newton meters or six foot pounds. Again, I haven't got a torque wrench that goes down that low. So all I'm gonna do is just nip that up, not go too tight, because otherwise it'll snap off. Right, that's the height sensor on. Now, when we started this job, we measured from the center of the wheel to the edge of the wing. There's a reason for that. We're gonna jack the suspension up so that it's at normal ride height, and then we're gonna torque up the bolt that holds the lower arm to the chassis. This way, the, the bolt tightens up the bush, and the bush will be tightened up in the normal ride position. If you do it when it's all the way down, suspension's hanging down, that's gonna be pretty much your maximum suspension height. So when you drop it down or for access mode or normal ride height, you'll be twisting the bush inside the arm. So we're gonna get the jack, jack this suspension up, center of the hub, to the wheel arch it's going to be about 480 millimeters i think that's what i said i think that's about 18 some 18 and a bit inches and um then we're going to tighten up the middle the the, the lower control arm to the subframe the chassis part over there and then when that's done that is that job finished well, we have got the ball joint to do on the back of the hub which we're going to do tomorrow because it's getting bitterly cold out here at the minute so we're going to get this bit torqued up and uh and then we'll come back out and finish off tomorrow for the second video. So let's crack on and get this job done. So we're just jacking it up now. Almost there. Keep going please. Okay, that's it. So, centre of the hub, up to the wheel arch, it's 480 millimetres. So now, I can torque up the bolt holding the lower arm on. Now that's 160 newton metres, and then when you've done that, it's 90 degrees, so a quarter of a turn. See if I can get the uh, torque wrench in there. I better set the torque wrench first. Right, there's your click for 160. Now I'm gonna put it on the breaker bar. And try and get a quarter of a turn. So that's that job done. 
I can now let the jack down, put the wheel back on it and uh, get it back for its CT. It definitely was knackered, there's a lot of play in this lower ball joint. But, uh, so hopefully it will drive a lot nicer as well. I've still got the other ball joint to change which I'm going to do tomorrow. Now I'm going to get indoors, have a shower, get warmed up, edit this video and get it put out. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, it was of some use and a bit of inspiration for all you want to be mechanics out there. I'm in a wheelchair. If I can get on the floor and do this job, anyone can do it. Um, just remember safety first. Always use your axle stands, jack stands, whatever you want to call them. And uh, yeah, work on these things yourself and you'll save out of a lot of money. Bye for now.